What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I've done so many changes in the channel guys. Um, so uh, bear with me. So if you're new to my channel, hi, what is up? My name is Frances Michelle and I'm so excited that you are in today's video. So today's video y'all, new setup. Um, who's this girl? I have a brand new setup you guys and I'm super, super excited. Um, my husband went out and got me and got me a uh, new camera, new lens after I sold everything as y'all know. If y'all haven't know what's what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave my life update video down below so you guys can like hop on board. Um, so in this video today y'all, I want to kind of share with you all my thoughts on the two newest foundations out there and just a disclaimer, I am not back to doing makeup videos I'm not back to doing make I'm not because I don't consider myself a makeup artist a makeup guru or a makeup influencer I'm just a mom a girl who loves all things cuteness and makeup and all that um but this foundations I so I showed it on my Instagram and I had quite a few of you guys ask me what I thought and which ones were better and I was not planning on doing a YouTube video, but it was so much that I wanted to share with you guys that I was like, if I do it on Instagram stories, I will be talking for 48 hours. So I decided just to kind of hop in here and just show you guys. So today's video, as y'all saw for the title, <laughs> it is the two new babies on the block, and they are the NARS um, light reflecting foundation with the Charlotte Tiltberry beautiful skin foundation. So these have been out for approximately a couple of, I think like a month or a couple of weeks now. Um, and I've been trying them and testing them out for at least two and a half weeks. So I've had time to really, really review and really, really, really pick and knit at the things of this foundation. So how this video is gonna work, I'm just gonna give you a little briefly explanation of the products. Then you guys are going to see me apply it. One side of my face, it has the NARS, and the other half of my face has a Charlotte Tiltberry. Now I do wanna put a little disclaimer, I did say it. Um, these two foundations are in the darkest shade possible for me. Reason being is because I wear them when I'm tanned. Now this video I filmed it when I was completely on tanned and the colors are way off, but I made it work. And I wanna show you that where I apply it all the way down to my neck and I normally do not do that guys. I do not apply it all the way down to almost my torso, but it's because I really wanted to get this video for you guys and I needed it recorded today. If not, it was not going to happen. So please don't troll me with, oh my God, those shades are too dark. When I tan, I go up at least four shades, guys, okay? I am super, super pale, and I like to be tanned. Before y'all come at me and start trolling, because a lot of there's a lot of cyberbullying going around, and I'm not gonna tolerate it, okay? So just kinda wanna let y'all know that. And also, the way that the camera is gonna be set up is gonna be on this side, so these lights right here are really, really close to my face, creating a more of a saturated look but this is exactly what the foundation looks like. A little bit washed off because obviously I have lots of lights. So first off guys, um, the Charlotte Tiltberry, it comes in a beautiful plastic tube, which I absolutely love um, because I'm the type of girl that I like to take my foundations on the go and I like to keep them with me at all times. You never know what can happen. And I love that this tube is really, really like portable and you can take it with you anywhere you go so it's amazing and then as to the nars found sorry as to the nars foundation you guys um it is a light reflecting foundation it is in a glass bottle and it does come with obviously the cap also it has the um pump where you apply the foundation which is also a great great plus the only downside to this foundation is that i will never take it with me anywhere because it is a glass bottle comparing both foundations the nars has a more wide range variety of color so you get more of your color because they did i think 36 or 38 versus this one it has way less i think it has like 32 if i'm not mistaken don't quote me on it i don't have the information right in front of my face I was very easy to match my color. I am wearing a seven neutral when I am tan. Obviously, if I'm not tan, I am not seven neutral. Um, so they claim 
This they claim to be pretty much a long wear foundation, medium buildable coverage. I feel like the NARS foundation, it's more on the um light to medium coverage um i feel like it's very very dewy it, it is a very light reflecting foundation so i feel like if you have a oily skin it would be a little bit of a messy situation because it kind of sets on this dewy ref light reflecting finish which is beautiful but i feel like my my um oily combination girls are going to probably going to have to set this foundation during the day now when it comes to the charlotte tilbury i love it because it's literally beautiful skin you apply it to your skin and it's just kind of like blurs any imperfections and gives you this beautiful medium coverage which is definitely buildable and the consistency of it is not so thick so it's a great great overall foundation this one right here the nars is a little bit more on the liquidy side because it is a light reflecting foundation so it's a more of a radiant dewy finish this one is just beautiful skin beautiful hydrated skin um and it's just um more of a thicker consistency than the nars but it's not thick it's not heavy it's breathable and i just love how everything just kind of sits together so in my overall opinion um if you were to make me choose between the foundations um i say i go with the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation why is because it just feels like skin it doesn't feel like i have a lot of foundation on but i have a beautiful medium to full coverage foundation and it has lasted me a very very long time so let's get on with the side to side comparison and then let's get back to this picture okay guys so right off the bat let me just tell you that the color here looks a little bit different from the um, frontal view camera reason why is because i am using my vanity lights they're a little bit on the uh cool on on the warmer undertone um so the way it reflects on my face makes everything look a little bit more yellowish um and then also kind of wanted to say um i already prepped my skin using my foundation i'm um, using my skincare using my primer as well Another thing I want to say before jumping in is that I am not tan at the moment and these two foundations are my shade when I'm fully, fully tan. So I'm going to try to make it work. So before y'all jumping in my throat saying, oh my God, the color is really way off. It is off. It's just that I'm not tanned at the moment. So I started applying the Charlotte Tilbury on the right side of my face and both foundations i'm going to be using a makeup brush okay so I'm going to let, go ahead and let that sit and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of my face. And I look crazy because literally guys, this is my tanning color. When I tan, I look like this. All right, so I applied a few pumps of the foundation and I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to move a little bit to this side so you guys can see how it's blending. So on this side, like I said, I have the Charlotte Tilbury. What I really like about this foundation is that automatically once it goes in, it starts blurring and it starts making my skin look skin but healthier with a medium to full coverage. This one right here is a little bit on the thick, thicker side than the NARS, but when you apply it to your face, it, you don't feel it heavy, you don't feel it cakey whatsoever. It really does not feel like I have anything in there. This one really gives me like a nice natural finish, radiant finish um versus the nars it gives you more like a radiant luminous finish so i feel like if you have like oily skin um i feel like this the nars foundation you would have to set a lot during the day right off the bat with the nars the nars has a very nice medium coverage foundation feel um like i said it looks really like luminous it looks really radiant and the difference between my face and my hands i know I'm not tan guys, okay? But I really wanted to get this video for you guys out there. 
Overall, applying it, I find that the Charlotte Tilbury, because it is a little bit heavier consistency than the NARS, it kind of like glides and applies and blends beautifully to the skin. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is a beautiful finish, and I feel like it works for like an everyday medium coverage look when you're trying to have like a nice, nice finish. This one just kind of looks, re it looks beautiful as well. It goes blueless, flawlessly beautiful to the skin beautiful to the skin and i really really like it but i feel like if you have more of a oily combination skin this one right here will make you feel a little bit too on the dewy finish that's that's the word i'm looking for uh, and then the Charlotte Tilbury just has a beautiful, beautiful, everyday skin, healthy glow to it. Let me finish off my face um, and then I'll get back to camera. Okay, as you all saw, um, you can a you're able to see that my NARS foundation, it's more on the dewy side. So if you're this type of girl that is dry skin and you love to have that beautiful dewy skin finish um during the day and you love it and you wear and you wear uh cream bronzer and cream blush and cream highlighter your face is gonna look so radiant glow, glowy and dewy throughout the day and that is great but if you're more on the person that you like beautiful skin not matte not dry not dehydrated but just very nice finish and the makeup sits well and blends it beautifully then your charlotte tiltberry would be like your best option the reason why i choose the charlotte tiltberry over the nars foundation although i am a dry skin foundation is i'm sorry although i'm, I'm a dry skin type of person it's because i love the finish of this foundation and the coverage the way it fits on my skin the way that blends with every other product i apply and the longevity of it it lasts me for more than 10 hours y'all i was really 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 impressed i feel like it is an everyday medium to full coverage foundation and I feel like you will get more use of this than rather than this unless you are a very dry skin girl and you like that dewy skin radiant finish. This is just going to be based on your skin type and what type of finish you like. I feel like if you're a mom and you're out there with your kids working and doing everything but you want to look nice and last all day your child Tiltbury is gonna make you look flawless girl like yes so I really really tried to give you as much information as I could and I really hope that I was able to cover anything you had um, questions on and if you still have any questions about it there's other vi videos here on YouTube um, that you can look or you can just go ahead and shoot me um, a question I'll be more than happy to answer for you well I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to like subscribe and share you guys and don't forget to turn off your notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads I hope you guys have a wonderful day I'll see you all on my next video bye